Hello everybody and welcome back to more Hearthstone Arena Grand Master Quest. We are on our third run. And I mean, it's good so far. One win, zero losses. I mean, can't complain about that. <laughs> but it looks like our most promising deck so far. So I guess let's just jump in and hopefully we can... Uh, if we could go 3-0 and this video, that would be wonderful. I'm not expecting it to happen, but that would be wonderful. That would, We'd be sitting pretty, as I've said a hundred times. Sometimes, like, probably so many times during this playthrough already. It's so weird watching yourself back on this kind of thing. And be like, what kind of idiot would say that kind of, that same thing over and over and over? And it's like, oh, that's me. That would say that kind of thing over and over and over. Fight with honor. Um... This is a, this is a decent hand. I might just keep it. This betrayal will help me get rid of any AOE problems I have. Eviscerate would help me with any single target problems I had. And then I guess I have a, I have a one drop right here in Murloc Raider. It's pretty. It's not a good one drop, but a, it's a one drop. The reason it, I don't think this is a good card is because I don't think a, I think a lot of creatures that have one. One defense are uh, not very great. This is a little bit of an exception due to the fact that it has Divine Shield, so it can take an extra hit. But hmm, I could I could eviscerate this if I wanted, but I don't want to. What we're gonna do? We're gonna do this. We're gonna clear the board. I'm fine with taking one damage for that. Because it means that my Murloc Raider will survive another turn unless he casts a spell to kill it. Which, the good thing about having this card is, why would you want to spend a spell to kill it? I wouldn't. I think that's a bit silly, but... Alright. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to play... Uh, we're going to play this first. He has charge. So that means we can... Whoa! We can lag out. And then do this, do this, Here we go. do that, and then end the turn with a fresh new dagger for next time. If you if you have two mana left, and um, yeah, if you have two mana left at the end of your, your turn, you might as well just pop a hero power of some kind. Unless the only exception is maybe like if you're a, a warlock, and maybe maybe I wouldn't. I wonder this is this could be eye for an eye. I'm kind of hoping it's eye for an eye. I could attack this and I might. Let's see. Here we go. Or is it summon a two yep, summon a two one is the new target. Okay. I could do that. Let's see. Oop. For the crusade! Oop. Then I guess we might as well let's sacrifice. Let's finally get rid of our first Murloc Raider. Rest in peace, little one. What you gonna play? I've been having the advantage this whole time so far. Now I might not. This is such a good card. I guess. You know what? I'm still in a good situation because he has to. He's killing things that have one health. It's kind of. Not a good situation for him to be in, I suppose. So, what we can do. I kind of want to play him. Alright. Let's just. Let's start the rushdown process. I mean, he's at 12 health. He's gotta, he's gotta do something big. He's, he needs a big answer to something. And it can't really be AOE, anything AOE. Or I mean, like he can't summon a lot of minions because follow the rule. That won't, he won't be in a good situation then either. <laughs> it's time for a little blow. Okay, I can work with this. Who's he gonna attack? Me directly? Okay. What we're gonna do, do this. He's gonna be gone. 
is our town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. I had to be quiet right there because that is probably hands down the best. Goodbye. Should I do this? It's two for a two mana card for a three mana card. Goodbye. Let's do it. Um, that is probably my favorite line in the in the game Join from the cards. The, the first guy goes. Uh, oh my goodness! Why can't I even remember the line? It's like it's our town, scrub, or whatever and then this if you combo then this guy comes out and he's like yeah beat it oh my goodness look it's another true silver champion he's gonna kill this one if he's smart or attack me directly but i assume he's gonna kill that one reporting for duty here we go taking a damage is Definitely worth it. <laughs> Join Blade Flurry. Die. I don't know. I don't know, I guess, why I took it too much. Oh, yeah, I do. Because this is supposed to be a weapon centric deck. I completely forgot it was supposed to be. Things are looking really good right now. Uh, I can't. Oh, if he doesn't kill anybody, which he's going to, he could, um. Yeah, never mind. I can't finish him next turn. But it's getting close. Boom. So that's six. Wait a second. I think I just won. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Nope. Not quite. We'll see what I draw. If I get something that can damage him directly, I, I would win. Reporting for duty. We will see, however. Um not necessarily. Uh, we kind of copy of it. I wonder if I'd copy the one one part of this. I probably would. Let's go for that, I suppose. Join or die. And then we're gonna. Yeah, we're gonna bust this. It's gonna deal one damage to him, but it's also gonna clear off that guy. Which is the main purpose of it. So, the thing is, I only need to do two damage unless he can heal himself. Things that would save him right now would be Lay on Hands. Hammer Wrath is definitely going to be a nice thing. Lay on Hands. Consecration would help him. Uh, he can't play Lay on Hands anymore. He can play Consecration. He could play a healing spell of some sort. Or he could do that. And he, I believe he's done. Yeah, he is done. Well played. Two damage right here. Or die. There we go. Well, we are two and zero. Oh. We're on our way. We're on our way to getting to three and zero oh at the end of the video. But possibly. I guess th I can get three whole matches in here if I'm not building a deck. Ooh, this is kind of exciting. Actually doing decent now. I'm a little bit more familiar with Rogue because that's what I play in organized, in the, like, organized deck mode. Because, uh, I don't know, maybe, you guys should tell me if you're interested at all in, um, seeing my organized decks. I, uh, at least my organized Rogue deck play. Because, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting techniques. It's not, they're not standard decks, really, but they're pretty effective, and they're so much fun. Alright, I'm thinking no. Conceal is always nice, but we're going against a shaman, so he doesn't really, I mean, we'll see, we'll see. He def definitely has things that can wipe me out. Oh, you know, I like this. We could coin drop the Bluegill Warrior. I think we should. I think we should, right? You can either coin drop the Bluegill Warrior or do nothing. And then... So many options. 
I think we should do that. It creates some pressure right away. Maybe he'll feel like he has to kill it or wipe it out. But two mana for two damage. It's it's not wonderful, but it's he's gonna have to react to it, and he's gonna want to react to it because it's a two and one on the first turn. It's a little bit more of an aggressive play. He's gonna want to try to do something to like get rid of it. Totem is okay. Oh, Searing Totem is the only one that can that can deal with this. Um, I'm not gonna play the Patient Assassin. I'm going to clear the board and proceed to get more damage. Consistent board, like, cause that's good because it gives me board control, and I'm still, I still have the pressure from the two damage. Ooh, I really, I think this is a wonderful card. Um, as for what I can do about it. I can play my Patient Assassin. I can play this. And I might. Because it puts him in an awkward situation where this has more health than he has attack. So many options. Or I can buff up my weapon. I'm not gonna I don't think I wanna do this, but I could buff up my weapon. I don't wanna play this without the battle cry. It's just not as effective. Um or should I? Hmm. hmm, indeed. I feel like there's... Ah, if I could activate this battle cry, I could I could have wiped it out, but... I'm not sure if I want to completely do that yet. Let's make him decide. I'm going to tell him a little bit of it. Sorry, because it took so long. Stormforged Axe. Okay. Ooh. That is good for him. Okay. Wait, what? Sorry that happened. Oh, was he thinking I was being a sass man? When I was uh, when I said sorry? Because I was legitimately sorry. But you know what? Now I'm not. That was a bit rude of him. Um... Still can't activate the battle cry on this, but do I need to? I suppose not. So what I should do is this, this, and then board control retained. Health definitely lost. But that guy can uh, he can spiral out of control. I assume he has more where that came from for overload. Whoa. I can wipe this out with my attack, no doubt. I'm not sure quite why I'm losing so many frames. That is interesting. Alright. I'm gonna play this and then check that out. Alright. Well, that is absolutely horrible. The game froze, freaked out, flipped out, and it surrendered the game for me. Um, I'm gonna go in. Two wins, one loss. That is a very unexpected turn of events, and I apologize for that, but I do not know where that even came from. It's just all of a sudden the game decided to freak out. Maybe it's just not optimized correctly, or something. I'm not sure. But... I guess we're gonna have to stick with the two and one victory. Maybe not quite. Feeling a little, I'm feeling a little bit salty about that, but who wouldn't be? It's not. A, it's not a deserved loss, but I think I still feel good about this deck. That might have been a loss, anyways, but now we'll never know, and that's the sad part. All right, we got the one drop again. And we got two of our patient assassins. Job done. Here's hoping the problem doesn't happen again. Whatever it is. Hmm. This is strange. Blah. 
Right. Things we can do. Play this. Don't want to. Play this. Sure. Job's done. I guess I, I did read somewhere that other people were having a little bit of a problem with this, um, with Hearthstone recently. Here we go. That's kind of very strange to me, but Here we I'm gonna go. play him out, leave him on the floor. I mean, and I, it's not like I have a bad computer by any means. My, com my new computer that I'm using for this is amazing. It is outstanding. There shouldn't really be too much of a problem with this right now. Alright. I play this, he kills it. So, I kill this. This kills nothing. They're just gonna, gonna mutually kill each other. Uh, I won out. I won that trade by one mana. It's like... It's not gonna make or break the game. Silvermoon. Shall not fall. Right. What we can do here. Um let's go for this. Let's deal the one damage. Then do we deal this? Yeah, let's deal this four damage. Let's keep our uh, Senjin Shield Master. Senjin Shield Master at higher health. It's a bit safer. I lose the card, but that's four damage that can be done to him. But it's, uh, it's four damage that could have been done to this guy as well, so. Alright, things we can do here play this guy. Oh. And then sacrifice both of them. <laughs> well, not sacrifice both. Sacrifice this one. Lower that one. Retain board control. Five and two. Sengen shield match. I'm okay with this. Due to the fact that my board looks scary right now. Oh? Okay. Well, that's his turn. That's the whole, whole turn for that. Alright. So that's a good play. That's a good play. These are not good plays. I could attack, but that loses out on this. I could press this, but that destroys my Perdition Blade. I could use this, but that destroys my Perdition Blade for two mana. Or, for two damage. I'd, I could attack and then do this for a total of four damage, but I would rather keep this this combo as a big AoE nuke. I would, I mean, and by nuke, I mean two damage. All right, it looks like the, the visual problems are sorting its, sorting themselves out a little bit. Could not tell you where they came from. This, it would be wise to, who's he gonna wanna knock out? This shield master or this guy? It, it's the lesser of two evils. It's either more damage or uh, I'd probably go for this one, if I were him. Oh? Is he gonna give it four health? Attack him? Why? Okay. Alright. There's a few things we can do here. We can sacrifice him, which I think I might want to do. So many options. Oh, or wait. I'm gonna do this and do this. I don't wanna I don't wanna blow this up yet. Because now with this I could enrage it and uh get four damage in an AoE, which could be beautiful. I don't wanna take him out of stealth yet. That means he can be targeted and attacked by him. And no if he attacks him that does not instantly destroy him. Blood! And plunder. Okay. My shield for Argus. Well, 
There's this. Then there's this. And then this. There we go. This is our town, Scrub. Beat it. That's what he says. This is looking... Ooh. This is looking nice. Still might as well not bring him out of stealth. Don't want to take any chances for one damage. But then again... Maybe if we lose by one damage right now, I am going to cry. That is for sure. Two to all. He could bring this back out of nowhere. That is actually possible. Oh. Starfall. What is this nonsense? Five damage to one minion, or two damage to all minions. I assume he's going to do the draw three cards of that, yep. Because getting two mana crystals, well you have ten mana crystals? Oh no. Is he going to do this? Let's see, what can save us now? What can save us now? Believe it or not, we are on the run now. Ooh, what is... That visual thing right there was... Okay. This can't really save us now. Ooh. The fact that he played the taunt right after is what, what made this such a bad situation. I don't want to attack him right there. There's no real point. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna just kill him like this next turn. See, I don't have any card draw, so I'm gonna be top decking for the rest of this match. Well, he has this. Ooh. Well, he has this whole big set of cards, whole big array down here. I'm probably gonna lose this. Ugh. This is why you need AoE clear in your decks. Oh my goodness, no. Goodbye. Here we go. Here we go. Ugh. Feels bad, man. Alright, so he's got two, five, and then K. Okay. He has seven damage on the field. No, he has. 8 damage on the field. If he has one... A way to do one damage in his hand, which it looks like he does, he wins. Otherwise, if I can deal one damage from yeah, my hand... Me. Okay. Does he have anything with taunt or a way to deal one damage? It looks like this might be a buff right here. Alright, well, well played. Fine. Just do your stuff, man. You don't gotta, you don't gotta take a long time. That's exactly nine, man. And then you got one up there. All right. This took a very sad turn of events. That we had that in the bag the whole time, and then instantly one star fall. Also, I'm st still so salty about this first, ugh, this first loss right here. That is, I just don't feel good about that. I don't know what to say about that one. I don't feel like it was deserved, but what can you say? You can't mess with the... I don't know. You can't change it. So, well, thank you everybody for watching this episode of Strange Events and Sad Losses. Uh, leave a like if you enjoy what I'm intending to do with this series. If you learned anything, if you had a good time, if you got all the way to this end of the, vi the, end of this video, you had to enjoy it in some sort of way, maybe. I feel like... Either that or you skip to the end. Anyways, thank you for giving me a view and maybe your support in the form of a like or a comment. Thank you, thank you.